That's a seven-win season for the Bears, most since 2020 wow. when they finished with eight. And Kyler Gordon, great at that. He's, he's an athlete. He's an athlete. Spider-Man getting big. Falcons, they can still win the division with a win and a Buccaneers loss in Week 18. I mean, there's still there's still a lot on the board. It's not over for either of these teams now sitting at 7-9, to nine, but, you know, it's not looking good. 37-17 is your final here. Fields, 20-32, 268, two total touchdowns. Does it with the arm, does it with the leg, and found DJ Moore nine times. Look at Khalil Herbert. For a buck 59, Khalil There's Herbert. Numbers. Wow. Nice, nice compliment in that backfield as well. It's a roster taking four back. All right, so their last seven games, something has changed. Whether Luke Getze has finally started to design an offense for his multi-talented quarterback or somebody said something in the locker room, it's been different. Five and two, giving up just 17 points per game, taking the ball away at a rate that almost tops the league, getting to the quarterback since the addition of Montez Sweat for that second overall, or second round pick, excuse me, because I'm getting ahead of myself because they are first overall and on the clock in this year's upcoming draft. Mm. All right, let's go right there right now. Brian McFadden, have you seen enough to say Justin Fields is the quarterback and you do something else at one, whether that's Marvin Harrison Jr., you move the pick, whatever that may be, is Justin Fields the right quarterback for the Bears? Yes, sir. You know, I've been saying the praise for Justin Fields weeks ago before we saw this real consistent uh, slate of play. But right now, no question, because I think if you – I believe if you keep Justin Fields, you retain him. Addressing other positions is the fastest way to improve the ball club mm -hmm. because it's not like Justin Fields lacks talent. I think they need to find the common ground in regards to play calling to really allow him to excel as a quarterback because he's a very, very talented, gifted guy. But it's almost like in the beginning of the season, they were trying to keep him in the shell. Mm -hmm. Let him out. Let him play football like he did towards the last uh, uh, last season in 2022 where he was playing some of his best football. I think they're starting to figure that, that out now. That's why we're seeing pretty good play. But if you talk about keeping Justin Fields, either trading at number one spot to get more, more picks or staying there, Go get a guy like Marvin Harrison, and then with your your, your next first-round pick, you know, you address the front on the defense or the offensive side, and you have money to play with as well, you have to like that because DJ Moore is a proven number one. Mm -hmm. But if you go get a guy like Maserati Ma, Marvin <laughs> Harrison Jr., Two along with DJ Moore, along with Cole Komet, when you look at uh, Herbert and Deontay Foreman in the backfield. I mean, the offensive line, as you would know better than all of us being a Chicago Bears fan, Joe, the offensive line actually played better when they were healthy. They dealt with some injuries. Of course, their play wasn't as stout, but when they got healthy, yeah. they started to play pretty good football, right? It's looking like he's going to be a guy you can build around moving forward as well. So that's what I would do. I would keep Justin Fields, and I think addressing other needs on the team is the best way to improve the roster, and yet and still you have a difference maker at the quarterback position. And those needs are limited. I mean, look at this roster. Look at the talent on the defense. Look yeah. at the names you just mentioned. Cole Komet, who we didn't see much of in this game. Also, statistically, the fourth best tight end in football right now. Yeah. You can get better in other places, but they are not positions of great need. It's a roster that's ready to be a playoff roster. And if you take a rookie quarterback, you got to put off those hopes for one or two and seasons. And also, too, when it comes to sports, especially football, some known, sometimes the unknown is scary mm -hmm. because you don't know. At least with Justin Fields, he's shown the ability to be a difference maker in the league right now. You know you, you, know you have a guy that, given the right structure of offensive game planning, play calling, he can do numbers. Mm -hmm. He can make people miss. He's a playmaker. You go draft one of these younger guys that we've never seen play in the NFL, you're hoping. You know what you're going to get from Justin Fields, and I think the best is yet to come when they find that sound offensive structure to surround him when uh, to, to surround him with not to mention adding more talent I mean think about this Justin Field is one just talent alone mm -hmm. he's probably a top five talent uh, one of the, he's a top five talent at the quarterback position just talent alone when you talk about talent you talk about speed athleticism arm strength the ability to, to do great things at one position that's Justin Fields yeah now we haven't really seen that talent serves to be a consistent passer because of injuries to the offensive line and also questionable play calling. Mm -hmm. But when you give him that sound structure, oh, he can do numbers. You saw what he – look at the guys he's making miss. We just talked about Lamar Jackson. He has Lamar Jackson-ish in his game. Mm -hmm. The difference between those two is that Lamar Jackson is more polished and he has an offensive structure that fits what he does well.
You take him, take my one shot because I'm smiling through this thing. As problems go, <laughs> they're good problems to have. Chicago, you are on the clock. And the defense. And the defense. And the defense is, is really good. Hey, you right want to talk about my city and my team? It's defense first, always, Mac. <laughs> Monsters might be back. The way they're flying around, taking that ball away. Most games with a pass and rushing touchdown in Bears history. Justin Fields passes what could be, who's to say, his head coach next season. Full highlights coming from the game of the week on CBS. Lamar and the Ravens putting a number on the Miami Dolphins. It's coming after a quick break.